All right, folks, this is a 2017 Hyundai Elantra. Customer complaint is a oil light is on. Okay, took it to the local Mavis. They gave it an oil change, but the light is still on. So clearly, it was not an oil change problem. So, you know what it is? We'll find out. Hang on a second. Let's take it to underneath. All right, so after you take the bottom cover off, which is about uh, seven or eight, 10 millimeter bolts, dun -dun, bunch of various clips, lost count after 10. But anyway, after you take it all apart, the oil pressure switch on this model is right next to the oil filter. And it's right there. See it? Right there, people are right there. Okay, now, from here, you can't really tell how that clip comes off. I tried to squeeze from the side, that looks like a little V. But you can't really get it. Unfamiliar with this clip. So you know what you do? If you're ever unfamiliar with something, especially when it's on a sensor like that, what you do is you take your little wrench. This one happens to be a 24 millimeter. And if you got room to play in that connector, what I usually do is I go and I spin this connector. I spin the whole switch. So you get to see what the bottom looks like. See it? So now, if you look at it now, that little connector has a little hidden piece in there, inside. And it was a little hard to uh, squeeze from the top, so I wasn't sure if that was really the connector. But to make sure, you spin it off, and that is what you see. Now, the oil pressure switch, the reason why I think it's an oil pressure switch more than it's an engine, uh, problem is because first of all it's a 2017 so it's not that bad Cosmo always uh, did her oil changes and the engine's not making any massive noises so if party has pressure party a bad switch now, this switch here if you squeeze this piece out how does anything when it comes out the first thing you're gonna see is there's a drip of oil see it that's a sign of a bad switch right there the thing is leaking from the inside and it's grounded out. Oh, there's a drip. Just fell on my driveway. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change that switch, clean out that connector before any more oil drops on. All right, and I'm dropping a dab it a little bit. All right, we're gonna go get that switch and we're gonna change it. All right, and if you happen to get oil on your driveway, don't forget. Check out my YouTube channel for getting fresh oil off of your driveway or your cement. Whether it's fresh oil, old oil, AutoZone brake cleaner works out good. Okay. Actually, minus. I'm gonna clean it out before it gets any worse. Spray it, dissolve it, pick her up. Do it again, spray it. It'll dissolve, and now you gotta pick it up. If you don't pick it up, all you did was just spread the oil. There you go. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so now we cleaned the mess up there. All right, off to change the sensor. See oil, oil dripping out of the connector, so that, yeah, that sensor is bad. So we're gonna replace it with the AutoZone brand Duralast. That's the number right there. PS518, this is the sensor. And that is the connector in there with the plug. All right, gonna spin it off and put this one right in there. All right. Spin the little sucker off. It's gonna drip. Spin the one on. So already got the thread sealer on there already. We'll tighten up with the wrench. And ah, uh, made another mess, mess on my driveway. Nice and tight. Right, take a little brake clean. I'm gonna clean that connector. See the 
oil still coming out of it. second to uh, dry up and then we'll plug it back in. Alright, once it's nice and air dried, put it back in. Snap it right in. Nice like that. Then we're going to start the car. And just in case you're wondering, let's turn this over. Look at that. That's the oil that's in the switch. Alright, that's the sign of a bad switch. Now right, let's go start this bugger up. Here we go. There you go. Or a light done. Okay. Ciao. Thanks for watching, guys.